Hound of Varbits. In this quick video, I'll show you how I fixed the issue of little puffs of vapor escaping past my condenser coil during my stripping runs. <laughs> And welcome to Open Source Distilling, where time under tradition meets modern day technology. Please consider subscribing to follow my progress on building a fully robotic reflex still running on open source technology. So this is part of the second stripping run that we've done on the channel, and I'm breaking it up into two different videos. One based on the little puffs of vapor coming out, which is this video. And the second video will answer the question, can I cool off 60 degree distillate using a five inch mini Liebig? In the first stripping run video we did, uh, we did see little tiny puffs of vapor like you see up on the screen. These little puffs uh, were probably helping stink up the apartment alongside with the hot distillate coming off the stripping run. Aside from stinking up the place, the little tiny puffs also mean that not all the vapor is being condensed, and some of it is making it past the condenser, meaning that we're losing a little tiny bit of distillate, which is not what we want. Optimally, all of the vapor gets turned back into liquid, and we get the maximum yield and the least amount of smell out of the stripping run. If you're wondering what this hole is for in the still in the first place, uh, it's to make sure that pressure doesn't build up, because the last thing we want is to be making a bomb. So I grabbed some stainless steel mesh that I have. I think I bought this from Clawhammer or one of those online websites. I ended up taking a little tiny bit of it and jamming it in the very inside coil of my double coiled condenser. My plan was to start with the inside coil. And if that didn't work is to add another layer between the inside coil and the outside coil. So I did this up in the bathroom sink so I could contain the mess. Uh, cut up a little tiny bit, grabbed a chopstick, and shoved the stainless steel mesh right up the middle of the center of the double coiled condenser. I then went about doing my stripping run as I normally would. As you can see from this video, the puffs of vapor have completely disappeared. And the conclusion I draw from this is just that the vapor was shooting up the middle of the center of the center coil, making it way past and escaping through that pressure release hole. My assumption is that adding a cold finger to the condenser would solve the problem too. Stay tuned for a future video where we see the experimental results from the mini Liebig and determine if it's gonna suit our needs or if it's gonna to need to be modified. Personally, I can't wait to see what happens. Thanks for making it to the end of this video. If you like this video, please hit that thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and that bell icon so you don't miss any future videos. Hope you're having a great day and I love you all very, very much. <laughs>